What is up guys and welcome to another episode of my hybrid squad builder series. Now I was actually going to do a number number games episode today but um, I sort of just didn't really feel like making one. Uh, I didn't have enough footage as well. So this is going to be what is today. Um, I'm going to be doing another hybrid squad builder. But these have been going down really really well recently so I thought you know why not just do this um, and keep the viewers happy. So uh, as you can see here we are going to be using a 4-2-2-2 formation. Um, and actually before we start this video I would like to give um, I would say a special thank you to Ketonjik HD. He actually made me an outro um, for my channel now. Just to, I wanted something at the end of my video so I could say like follow me on Twitter, uh, check out my latest video, and ov obviously like subscribe and stuff like that. Um, and he made me a really nice one. It has like a bit of an animation in it as well. So um, you know, a massive thank to thank you to him. If you want to go check out his channel, he does incredible edits, um, and I'm sure he'd like to see uh, your faces over there as well. So. Let's go into the video now, and as you can see here in goal, we have got, as you can see, um, Loris, really, really good goalkeeper. Um, not really going to go into too much detail about him, seeing as, you know, he cost me 3.4k, and I think a lot of people will have used him before. Um, this sort of, the, the defence is really like, it's it's players that everyone's really used before. Um, it is just a really solid uh, French defence, and see here, Sacco. Um, is the next player. He's got 74 pace, 80 defending and 84 heading. Cost me like 1.4k. Uh, the next centre back is going to be Mangala. Really good centre back as well. He is an upgraded version and he's got 83 pace, 80 defending and 83 heading. Uh, the right back now as you can see here is going to be Debuchet. Really wanted to buy him because his team of the season version is incredible. Um, it is really really good and I think this might even be an upgraded version. Uh, but he is really really good like I definitely recommend him if you're going to be buying like a, a French team with a or like a League One team uh, I would highly recommend him over Fanny or you know Sagna uh, whatever you want to do but the left back here is going to be Clichy um, again these are all players that you've probably used before but when we move into this bit um, this these are sort of the start of, of the players where you know you may not have used it before um, and some of these players are actually transfer players so I will go into a bit more detail about these ones so um, the first CDM is going to be Sissoko. He's really, really good. Um, like everyone thinks that his rating, you know, 77 rating. Oh, you know, he's going to be really, really bad. I'm not even going to look at him. But if you look, actually look at his stats: 86 pace, 75 shooting, 73 passing, 75 dribbling, 83 defending, and 74 heading. Now they are stats of like Yaya Torre. I think Yaya Torre actually has almost the same stats as that. So you can just tell how good of a player he is. Um, for his rating and really does keep your rating low if you are one of the then people that like to keep them rating, ratings low uh, of their overall team and come up against you know worse players or whatever or worse teams so moving on to the next centre defensive mid you've probably already seen it but it's going to be Johan Kabaye um, really good player as well could have got the team of the season version but I just didn't have enough coins again he's got really really good stats um, and I think his non-informed card uh, non-rare card is just as good as you know some of his informs so uh, let's get on to the centre attack mid now and as you can see here we have got uh, Mario Balotelli now a lot of people say oh I hate it when people change their you know the the positions of four so the positions of their uh, default you know players so for example uh, Mario Balotelli he's default striker so people would get annoyed if I change him to a centre attack mid um, and you know centre attack mid from striker there obviously there's a lot of difference but on this game um, there isn't really that much difference he does actually work really really well there um, he kind of reminds me like a an Ebra um, you know he just he, he has such a force in this position um, and I highly recommend him you know he has just the perfect pace as well for a centre attack mid so really worth forgetting him there um, the next centre attack mid is going to be the uh, one of these players which you know I paid an absolute bomb for but I think um, you know, if you if you play him in the right team in the right position, he will be really 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 good. So, um, GCI Messi actually showed me this player and he told me to build a hybrid around him, uh, which is the reason why I did actually buy him. Uh, I think he is actually a transferred player. I'm not too sure because there's only a few on the market. But you're probably going to be all shocked at how much I paid for him. I paid 21,000 coins, which is quite a lot. Um, but he has got four-star skills and three-star weak foot, so pretty good for a silver player there. Um, In-game, you know, he's not the most amazing player in the world. I would probably pay about 10k max for him. Um, but, you know, I think when I spent 20,000 coins on him, I expected him to be like El Shaoway-esque um, and like that. And, he, you know, that clearly was never going to happen. But... You know, nevertheless, he is a pretty decent player, and I do recommend him if you are looking for um, a decent player for a League One squad or just a, a squad like this. So, uh, the first striker is actually going to be 
the PSG version of Ibra. Uh, he is really, really good as well. Obviously, like he's the exact same stats as the Milan version, but in this team, he works really, really well. Um, you know, he works well with the other striker that I'm going to be putting in now. And as you see here, you've probably guessed it as well. It's going to be the uh, transferred Gudetti. He's actually gone back to Manchester City now. Um, had a really, really good season at, I think it was in the Eredivisie. Um, you know, got quite a few in forms. And, you know, just from what I've heard of him being uh, good in real life, he has played really, really well. So um, I'm sure City will be happy to have him back. But, you know, Gudetti, really, really good player. He lacks a bit in pace. As you can see there, 77 pace isn't really the most amazing in the world. But by God, I can tell you, his finishing is absolutely, you know, outstanding. 10 out of 10 um, from me. And just really is a player which I think when you've got the ball, he can really hold it up. Um, and I think, you know, sort of Ibra is more the pacier player. I know it's only like two plus pace, but I don't know. I think other people can agree with me. When Ibra runs in this game, it does more feel like an 84 pace or something like that. But. Um, that is really the only downfall. The the you know the strikers on their cards aren't really the paces in the world. Um, other than that, the team plays really really well. Like I said, it's not the most hybrid squad in the world. I just wanted the team to build around uh, the PSG Ibra, Gudetti, and also this centre attack mid on the left here called. Um, Verate. So that's going to be it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to go and check out Ketonjik HD's channel. The link to that will be in the description. As always, just telling my senior um, and go and check out his recent edits. They have been really, really good. Um, and I just a massive thank you to him for the outro he did for me. Uh, but yeah, guys, I hope you hopefully you guys enjoy the goals. And yeah, 500 likes would be absolutely insane. Have a good day and peace.